In software engineering and games development, an interface plays a crucial role in creating the base architecture of classes and objects that we use. Interface by its definition is something which provides a common contract for classes which implement them. But for beginners and junior developers, this definition does not ring any bells in the absence of any experience seeing them in action. An interface is pretty useful in creating properties which can have several different kinds of class objects as their values. They are also extensively used in almost all of the software engineering design patterns. In this video, I am going to show you guys one of the many many different ways in which the interfaces can be utilized in Unity games development. In this example, I am going to create a player object which can be assigned a vehicle to drive. The vehicles will be of different classes and they will be ability to add more vehicles in the future without making any changes to the player class code. In this example scene, there is an empty game object which is player instance and a script is attached to it. There is a property which can be set by dragging either this car asset or this truck asset onto it. So right now it has been assigned with the value of or the reference of car and when i will run this scene then we can drive this car by pressing the up arrow key and it will move forward with a fixed speed and now if we will replace this car by this truck and set its reference in this vehicle instance then we can drive this truck but with a slower speed than the car now this player instance class is not directly referencing any of these classes of this car and truck it is only referencing the interfaces api to call their drive function to move them forward and to drive them. Let's now start to create this example to find out how interfaces can be used in Unity in their simplest form. Before that, I want to show you from where I have downloaded the assets. So this is a free asset which you can download and add to your Unity project from the Unity Asset Store and the name is this one, City Props Vehicles. And I'm going to share this URL in this video's description. So if you would later decide to recreate this example in your free time, then you can download this asset as well to use it. The first thing that I will do over here is I will create a 3D object, which is a plane. And first let's set its position at the origin. And now I'm going to set its X and Z transform values as 10 so that our vehicles are going to have some space to drive. Now let's just create a material for this plane and I'm going to set the color for this material as black and then let's drag it to the plane. And now it's time to create the classes and the interface. So let's create a folder for them and let's just call it scripts. The first C sharp script which I'm going to create is for the interface and we can call it as I vehicle for the vehicles the next one which we can create is for the car and we need to create the scripts for the truck and for the player instance as well this is for the player instance all right so let's open this i vehicle in visual studio to start to add code for it so this is going to be an interface so let's just replace class with an interface and also remove this mono behavior inheritance. We need to add two methods for this interface. The first one is going to be the drive and the second one is going to be stop driving. Now let's write the code for the player instance class. The first thing that we will do over here is to create a public field of type mono behavior and we are going to call this field as vehicle instance so that we can set the reference of the asset which we want this player instance to be able to drive forward and we are also going to need another private field of the type i vehicle and let's just call it vehicle so the vehicle assets or vehicle classes which are going to be set as a reference in this vehicle instance public field are going to be inherited from this i vehicle interface so we can fetch this vehicle fields value by fetching the component from this vehicle instance which is of the type i vehicle and that can be done by simply calling vehicle instance dot get component and then we can provide the type of the component which is actually not vehicle it is i vehicle all right 
Now we need to create two methods over here. Those methods are going to be used to either drive the vehicle or to stop it from driving. So the first one is void drive attached vehicle. So before we drive the vehicle, first we need to check if the vehicle instance is null or not. So if vehicle is not equal to null, then we can simply call vehicle.drive and we need another method to stop the vehicle from driving and we can simply copy and paste it so let's just call it stop driving attached vehicle and if it is not null then we can simply call the method stop driving so when are we going to call these methods we are going to call them by accepting users keyboard input which is going to be the up arrow key so if the user has pressed the up arrow key, then we are going to call this drive attached vehicle method. Otherwise, we are just going to call this stop driving attached vehicle. So if input dot get key and the key is going to be key code dot up arrow, then we are going to drive this attached vehicle by calling this method which we have created otherwise we are going to stop it from driving by calling this method stop driving attached vehicle and the code for this player instance class is pretty much done and now it's time to write the code for the car and the truck classes let's open the car script first so this car class and the truck class is going to be inherited from the i vehicle interface so that the player instance class can fetch their component from the asset which has been set as the reference into the vehicle instance public field and inside this class the first thing that we are going to do is to create two fields first one is going to be a flag which will indicate if the vehicle is driving or not the name can be set as is driving and let's set the default value as false we can have another field which is going to be called as move speed which will determine the speed at which the vehicle can move when we are going to drive it and because we have not implemented the i vehicle interfaces contract methods the visual studio editor is showing a red line underneath it if you will hover your mouse over this red line then you can see the exact error messages so let's just create the methods which it wants us to create and the first one is going to be the public void and then drive method so inside this method we are only going to set this is driving flag to true to indicate that the vehicle has started to drive and we can have another method the second one for this interface which is stop driving and inside this we are going to set this flag as false we also need to set the move speed of this car when it will start to drive and let's just set this value for now as 20 so 20 is a good enough value for the car to drive at a faster speed and now the final thing that we need to do for this car class is to write code for the update method so if the car has started to drive then this update method is going to detect that and it will simply move the car forward depending on the speed value which we have set so to do that we can use transform dot translate and then we will need to multiply the forward vector with the move speed and we also need to multiply it with the delta time or the change in the time so let's just do that and that's pretty much it for this class now for the truck class too we can use the same code and we will only have to change the movie speed value also because the car and the truck classes are different we can also add a bunch of different methods and properties which could be specific to only these classes but if you want them to have a common functionality which you can use from the player instance class then you will have to add that functionality as a common contract inside the i vehicle interface and then both of these classes will have to implement that functionality which the player instance can safely call by simply using the i vehicle interface so let's just open the truck script 2 in visual studio and i'm just going to copy this entire thing from the car to the truck and let's just change the truck's speed and the speed of the truck can be set as i guess 12 
Now let's build the code. Okay, so we have created the scripts and now it's time to add the assets which we are going to use. The first asset which I'm going to add is an empty game object. Let's just rename it as player instance and I'm going to drag this player instance script over this empty game object. You can see that the vehicle instance is set to none right now. So we need to add the assets for the truck and the car to the scene as well. And that can be done by going to this folder, which has been downloaded from the Unity Asset Store. And let's just add this big rig over here and this car one too. So I'm going to set their position at origin first and now you know what let's just move this car over here and move it somewhat towards the right change its angle same thing for the truck to change its angle and yep they are on the surface and now we need to set the camera's value And now before we can run this example, we also need to attach the scripts for the car and truck to this car and big rig assets. And that can be done by simply dragging this script to over here and then this script to over here on this big rig. And now we can simply drag and drop the reference to the vehicle instance field. And now let's run the code to see if it's working. So when I am pressing the up arrow key then the car is moving with the speed which we have set for it. And let's now test this code for the truck asset. So for truck asset this is not working. And that is because this truck class is not implementing the i vehicle interface. So the component for this i vehicle interface could not be found when the player instance class is trying to fetch it from this code. And now this code should work let's just build it too let's press play again and now the truck is moving too so this is pretty cool right i mean this player instance class is not referencing any of these concrete classes it is only referencing this interface and it is fetching the component which is implementing this i vehicle interface it really doesn't care which class it is it can be any class as long as that class is implementing the contract which is specified by this i vehicle interface this player instance class will be able to use it and that's pretty much it for this video guys thanks for watching it and i hope that you will like this video if you do then please don't forget to place a like on it and also subscribe to this channel if you haven't already done so this will make sure that you will always stay updated with the new videos which are coming out every now and then also if you have any questions or suggestions to make then feel free to use the comments area and I will get back to you as soon as I can. I will see you in the next video. Till then have a great day.